We have new information this morning as a fire broke out in Lake City yesterday afternoon. So Lake City is about two hours away from Des Moines and an eyewitness shared some drone video of the fire at Dobson Pipeline Oregon Factory. Yes, an Oregon factory. Uh, so this is video that you are seeing here of the fire happening yesterday. The fire happened around 2 p.m. and it is still burning this morning. Take a look at the flames. Take a look at the mass amount of smoke coming from this building. And as you can see, it's in the middle of the city. So uh, there was one employee who had suffered some burns. That person is expected to make a full recovery. We talked to eyewitnesses as well just last night describing the situation. The first shed that initially started on fire is still on fire, but it's under control but like the main building the brick building i see that there is still like fire in there and they still have hoses spraying water into it and they're trying to dig into the ground to get to the gas line to um turn it off because i from what i've heard it's like getting into the basement so that again was last night at about 10 p.m uh, and now we know that the fire is still burning at this Oregon factory and we'll continue to bring you updates throughout the rest of the day. But let's right now go live to local fives Khalil Maycock, who is there in front of the fire. And as we take a look, you can see the flames are still coming up behind you. Khalil, what are we learning this morning? What do we know with the latest on the fire, the latest on the uh, building and also more about what this building is? Good morning, Serena. Like you said, that fire is still burning and those flames are still billowing into the sky. And I'm going to step out of the frame so you can see a better picture. So the area that you are looking at right now, just a few, well, about 30 minutes ago, part of this section, you know, did fall in and the smoke is getting a little more intense in that section. But if you look over to your left, that's where you're going to notice that this is the structure is basically just a structure at this point. The inside is gutted out and I don't know if you just heard that, but there was a loud noise. The inside is gutted out and if you look towards the other side of that, there is some crews over there that are still watching to make sure that nothing gets out of control or no hot spots flare up. And now, like you said, this isn't a town center, so there are buildings nearby. But if we can come back towards this way, you can see that there are some debris covering the sidewalk right there where part of the building was that obviously fell down. And if you move a little more towards the right field, there's a large section of metal and that is just completely collapsed in. And even though this isn't a town center, this is also in a residential area. So Theo, if you zoom over towards that White House, you can see that there's houses very in a very close proximity to this fire. There's even a car right there. So like you said, this is a pipe organ building and the website for them says they've been in business for more than three decades, constructing fine pipe organs for churches, schools and public spaces. So once again, that fire is still burning this morning, flames still billowing into the sky. So live in Lake City, Khalil Maycock, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. Oh, Khalil, that is devastating for that town, for that family that's had that business for decades. Thank you so much for catching us up to speed as to what's happening this morning. Um, we'll continue to be live there all morning long, so we appreciate you being out there with us.